See, I need y'all to understand something. And I need y'all to know and understand what it is when you're dealing truth. A lot of you hardworking men out there, a lot of you brothers out there work really hard. I mean, bust your ass to make that money, to pay your bills and make it happen and stay relevant in this land that we call America. See? There's no such thing as the land of the free here in America. We're not free. You trap in doing time in many different ways, many different aspects. But for all you men out there that get up every day, go out there, go to work, bust your ass. Working on another man's business. I know how it is. But yet still you do what you got to do. Go out, have a long, hard day's work just to come home to a woman who want to bitch and gripe and complain. Simply because she may feel like she worked too. But you working, paying the bills, fixing shit around the house, fixing cars, dealing with these females' emotions. Then you got to come home to somebody who want to argue, want to complain, when the man, all the man want is peace. Fellas, I know how it is. To be a hardworking man busting your ass out here, paying the bill, and that woman that you sleeping with, all she want to do is bitch and complain. Fellas, I know how it is that you go out here and you work hard every day to maintain and have what you have to eventually come home to a woman who acts as if she don't appreciate shit. See, what you're dealing with in today's society is in the black community dealing with these so-called black women, what you're dealing with is ungrateful-ass motherfuckers. See, people ain't grateful. People don't appreciate shit. Let's be real about this thing. Who rich in the black community? How many of us rich in our community? I mean filthy rich. Over half of America, hardworking people who got to go to work and earn a living. Am I right or wrong? I'm right. But yet still, you got so many people that's just so ungrateful until they end up by their damn self. See, let me tell y'all what's happening out here. All these miserable ass women on YouTube talking all this old shit, you know, trying to stir up all this mess. See, those are the miserable ones. Those are the ones who took good men for granted and they ended up by themselves. These same women are the same women who had kids by three and four different men. Ain't none of the men around. They still ended up getting with an individual who came in their life and played stepdad to a family that wasn't even here. Good men playing the role of a father, of a daddy to children that ain't even here. And the bitches didn't even appreciate that. These same men going out working, busting their ass, paying bills, doing homework and taking take care of children that ain't even here. And they still want to bitch break and complain and don't appreciate that. See, all these miserable, angry ass women on here talking this shit. See, these are the ones I'm talking about. For any of you women out there that got any kind of sense, you got a good man, he a hard working man handling his business.
you better appreciate that damn man. Like I say, people don't miss their water until they well run dry. You got a good man in your life, go to work, ain't hanging out in no damn clubs, ain't out there partying, ain't out there messing around with all different type of women, ain't out there doing no damn drugs. He might smoke a little bit of weed and take his ass to work, pay these bills, and make sure y'all got what y'all got so y'all can stay broke. And what do he get in the end? What do he get in the end, fella? Only thing he get in the end is a motherfucker acting like they don't appreciate that shit and all they want to do is bitch and complain. Fellas, let me tell y'all something. This is why I tell y'all to get your shit together and have your shit together so you won't have to deal with these leftovers because they angry as hell. See, when you on point and you got your credit together, you got your money together, you got your credit together, you got your own, you got, you, got, you know, you good. See, you don't even have to deal with these type of women. You don't have to deal with these angry type of women. See, these type of women, they get lucky and what they do, they catch brothers that's about something, but yet still going through something. See, a lot of y'all in relationship with the woman you with or the man you with, not because you wanted them, but because you needed them. That shit would never work because you don't want that person. You just needed that individual at the moment. Let me tell y'all something, man. If you're a hardworking man and you stand up and you on top of your game and you handling your business and you got to come home to a woman who bitching, complaining and griping all the time, leave her ass. She don't deserve it. You deserve better than that. See, y'all got to learn how to start appreciating and, 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 you know, and quit taking things for practice. This is the reason why a lot of these women are single women by themselves. Now they mad as hell and want to put it all on the man. No, bitch, it's your fault. It's your fault. Y'all know it and I know it. Just being real about the situation. See, brothers, I'm tired of seeing brothers, man, you know, with frowns on their face. I'm talking about good brothers, man. But they miserable because of the women that they with. And fellas, this is why I tell y'all, man, stay on top of your game. So that way you can utilize your options. If you ain't out here on top of your shit, you ain't out here on top of your game and you ain't really got nothing, then you don't have a lot of options. And for any of you brothers out here in that situation, while you ain't going through what you going through, you better have a game plan. See, you better have a game plan. Get your things together and move on, man. The modern black women today, they are unappreciative, ungrateful, they don't appreciate shit. They in relationship with men who they don't even have kids with. These men taking care of their damn kids and they still don't appreciate it. They still ungrateful. Only thing they want to do is bitch, complain, and wear long ass eyelashes and weep. Let me tell y'all fellas something. If you dealing with a woman and she show you any of these signs, let me tell you something, man. Don't you accept that shit? You pack your bags, she got to go or you got to go. Message!